May I have your Lordship's permission to commence the proceedings? Communication has been received from Honorable the President of India. The communication reads as follows. February 4, 2023, 15th Maga, 1944 Shaka. In pursuance of the provision contained in Clause 6 of the Article 124 of the Constitution of India, I, Draupadi Murmu, President of India, do hereby appoint the Chief Justice of India as the person before whom Sri Justices Pankaj Mithal, Sanjay Karol, Puliguru Venkata Sanjay Kumar, Esanuddin Amanullah, and Manoj Mishra shall, before they enter upon their offices as judges of the Supreme Court of India, make and subscribe oath or affirmation according to the form set out for the purpose in the third schedule of the Constitution of India. Signed, President of India. Warrant of appointment of Honorable Sri Justice Pankaj Mithal reads as under. But vested in me by clause 2 of Article 124 of the Constitution of India, I, Draupadi Murmu, President of India, do hereby appoint Sri Justice Pankaj Mithal, Chief Justice of the Rajasthan High Court, to be a judge of the Supreme Court of India with effect from the date he assumes charge of his office, given at Rashtrapati Bhavan, New Delhi, this fourth day of February in the year 2023, 15th Maga, 1944 Shaka, in the 74th year of the Republic of India. Signed, President of India. May I now request Honorable Sri Justice Pankaj Mithal to take oath. I, I, Pankaj Mittal, having been appointed a judge of the Supreme Court of India, having been appointed a judge of the Supreme Court of India, do swear in the name of God, do swear in the name of God, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established, that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India. That I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India. That I will duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, knowledge and judgment. That I will duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, knowledge and judgment. Perform the duties of my office without fear or favor, affection or ill will. Perform the duties of my office without fear or favor, affection or ill will and that I will uphold the Constitution and the laws. That, and that I will uphold the Constitution and the laws. Warrant of appointment of Honorable Sri Justice Sanjay Karol reads as under. By virtue of the power vested in me by Clause 2 of Article 124 of the Constitution of India, I, Draupadi Murmu, President of India, do hereby appoint Sri Justice Sanjay Karol, Chief Justice of the Patna High Court, to be a judge of the Supreme Court of India, with effect from the date he assumes charge of his office, given at Rashtrapati Bhavan, New Delhi, this fourth day of February in the year 2023, 15th Maga, 1944 Shaka, 
in the 74th year of the Republic of India. Signed, President of India. May I now request Honorable Chief Justice Sanjay Karol to take oath. I, I, Sanjay Karol, having been appointed a judge of the Supreme Court of India, having been appointed a judge of the Supreme Court of India, do swear in the name of God, do swear in the name of God, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established, that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India, that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India. That I will duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, knowledge and judgment. That I will duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, knowledge and judgment. Perform the duties of my office without fear or favor, affection or ill will. Perform the duties of my office without fear or favor, affection or ill will. And that I will uphold the constitution and the laws and that I will uphold the Constitution and the laws. Warrant of appointment of Honorable Sri Justice Puliguru Venkata Sanjay Kumar reads as under By virtue of the power vested in me by Clause 2 of Article 124 of the Constitution of India, I, Draupadi Murmu, President of India, do hereby appoint Sri Justice Puliguru Venkata Sanjay Kumar, Chief Justice of the Manipur High Court, to be a judge of the Supreme Court of India with effect from the date he assumes charge of his office. Given at Rashtrapati Bhavan, New Delhi, this fourth day of February in the year 2023, 15th Maga, 1944 Shaka, in the 74th year of the Republic of India. Signed, President of India. May I now request Honorable Sri Justice Puliguru Venkata Sanjay Kumar to take oath. I, I, Puligoru Venkata Sanjay Kumar, having been appointed a judge of the Supreme Court of India, having been appointed a judge of the Supreme Court of India, do swear in the name of God, do swear in the name of God, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established, that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India. That I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India. That I will duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, knowledge and judgment. That I will duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, knowledge and judgment. Perform the duties of my office without fear or favor, affection or ill will. Perform the duties of my office without fear or favor, affection or ill will and that I will uphold the Constitution and the laws. And that I will uphold the Constitution and the laws. What the flies in the stomach? Oh. Very, very, very important and solemn occasion, you know. You're right. I get them when I'm administering both. It's a moment in history, you know. Yes. Yes. Congratulations, Sanjay. God Thank bless. You. Thank you.
warrant of appointment of Honorable Chief Justice Asanuddin Amanullah reads as under. By virtue of the power vested in me by Clause 2 of Article 124 of the Constitution of India, I, Draupadi Murmu, President of India, do hereby appoint Sri Justice Ahsanuddin Amanullah, Judge of the Patna High Court, to be a Judge of the Supreme Court of India, with effect from the date he assumes charge of his office. Given at Rashtrapati Bhavan, New Delhi, this fourth day of February in the year 2023, 15th Maga, 1944 Shaka, in the 74th year of the Republic of India. Signed, President of India. May I now request Honorable Chief Justice Hassanuddin Amanullah to take oath. I, I, Ehsanuddin Amanullah, having been appointed a judge of the Supreme Court of India, having been appointed a judge of the Supreme Court of India, do, solemn, do solemnly affirm that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as, as by law established, that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India, that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India, that I will duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, knowledge and judgment, that I will duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, knowledge and judgment, perform the duties of my office without fear or favor, affect perform the duties of my office without fear or favor, affection or ill will, and that I will uphold the constitution and the laws, and that I will uphold the constitution and the laws. Warrant of appointment of Honorable Chief Justice Manoj Mishra reads as under. By virtue of the power vested in me by Clause 2 of Article 124 of the Constitution of India, I, Draupadi Murmu, President of India, do hereby appoint Sri Justice Manoj Mishra, Judge of the Allahabad High Court, to be a Judge of the Supreme Court of India, with the effect from the date he assumes charge of his office. Given at Rashtrapati Bhavan, New Delhi, this fourth day of February in the year 2023, 15th Maga, 1944 Shaka, in the 74th year of the Republic of India. Signed, President of India. May I now request Honorable Chief Justice Manoj Mishra to take oath. I, I, Manoj Misra, having been appointed a judge of the Supreme Court of India, having been appointed a judge of the Supreme Court of India, do swear in the name of God, do swear in the name of God, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established, that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India, that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India, that I will duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, knowledge and judgment, that I will duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, knowledge and judgment, perform the duties of my office without fear or favor, affection or ill will, perform the duties of my office without fear or favor, affection or ill will, and that I will uphold the constitution and the laws, and that I will uphold the constitution and the laws.
May I have your Lordship's permission to conclude the proceedings? Yes. Uh, the court will resume work at 11:45 uh, a.m.